Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to handle our uh, links in a web page by using our private Python. Okay, and I'm going to take this example uh, particular uh, <coughs> website. <coughs> I'm going to pick for any one of them. Okay, uh, like a sign in uh, right now, we are in a home page with there is a page, it is presented. If I click sign in, it will go for this particular location. If I click the registration, it will go for this particular page. Like that, we can able to, these are the links. And if you more so uh, like inspect this particular element, you can able to see there is a tag as a <clears throat> anchor tag, a yeah. hyperlink. Okay, this kind of hyperlinks, how we can able to handle our playwright. See, basically the playwright we can able to take uh, by using a text format. That is like we are already seen into my previous videos also. And the same thing I'm going to uh, show you. In the text we are going to make it and we are going to make for some value to pick <clears throat> any one of them. Like registration means we can able to pick for registration. And this will click for that particular uh, element, right? And then how we can able to, other than this, how we can able to do it. You have the list, but you don't know uh, where the value is presented, but you want to click that particular element by using the tag itself. You want to print for all the tags, which is an anchor tag is presented, all the things you want to print from here. If I inspect, if I make it for A, A tag is not showing. See, overall it is showing for 60 links are there. Okay. In the 60 links also, it will take very couple of things. Okay. We'll see how it will pick and how it will show you. Okay. Without, uh, <clears throat> first I'll click for registration page, registration button. <clears throat> then I will uh, we'll go it for uh, another format, which I show you for that anchor tag one. Okay, now I took this already code in my previous video one, like a previous script, which I made it for that previous video purpose. Okay, the same code I'm going to reusing here to implementing our <clears throat> clicking that particular element. For this, we need to use for page dot locate. Uh, <clears throat> here we need to specify our locator. That is text equal to, I'm going to mention in this particular one. Once it is uh, presented, then you have to click like that. We are going to specify. And whether it will uh, click after that, we uh, need to see for that purpose I'm providing for some waiting for that particular time. Okay, if you are not using the time, what will happen? It will fraction of seconds, it will close your uh, browser because after a uh, completion of the execution, it will not wait for until you see purpose, okay? Just you can see now. This is a one working as expected. There is no issue uh, until now, okay? <clears throat> there are three elements are presented. Okay, registration is presented for three places. Then which place it is presented, we have to choose it. Then I'll do it for one more way. I show you in that first one, last one we need to pick, right? We'll pick for first where it will be presented. Now you can see registration pages comes now, right? No, I don't want to use this particular one. I don't want to use two like this and I want to uh, click as a different format. Like I want to uh, get the all the links, one list format. Okay, on the list, I need to get for all the links. Link list, I'm going to make it for page.locator. What it is expect in the locator tag is, yeah. Okay. You can see now how many it is presented. We can able to print it here. List dot count. 
count is the function that we get will provide you that how many links are presented in there okay it will uh, gives you what exactly is presented for by using an anchor tag some of them it is an hidden field some of for presenting okay now you can see over 61 tags are presented and even we got it for 60 and one extra we got it <clears throat> okay in this how to print this all the things one by one means we can able to do it for one for loop for loop and we can able to make for my link and we can able to in link text link, uh, link list and here we are going to print it for one by one all the links okay all the link values i'm going to print it here you can print it now you can see all the values it will print one by one <clears throat> Uh, okay, okay, uh, one second. Uh, because it is showing that uh, this link is not able to print it because of uh, we are not extract from that uh, the list value, right? We have to do it for one list here, leads. Okay, and here I'm going to do for links list dot uh, there is a text, uh, not text, text means it will take for one, inner text will take it now, inner text. Okay, this text will help you to extract for the elements, even text uh, like all the textiles it will work for that but uh, if you take this one it will uh, if you move over here it will take for all the node values what are the links are presented right the links exact inner values what are the inner text is presented all the values it will return as a list format okay now we are getting for the list and we are extracting one by one now we can able to see <clears throat> Now it will print for all the links. What are the things are presented? All the things it is printed. Okay. Now in my case now, again, I'm going to take for my registration. Again, I'm going to take for my registration. If registration equal to equal to link. Okay. Then what I want to do it, I want to click that particular element how we can able to click means we can able to use for page dot locator in the locator we have a function called a text okay in the text we can able to say and here we can able to provide another <clears throat> a link and then we can able to close it here now we are closed here and we can able to make it for click click function okay or if you take the registration maybe if it is showing for three values we'll see it here and then we can if it is three values it is still it is showing three values then we can able to make it for first click okay Yeah, three values it is showing still. Okay, I'm going to make it for first click because we used for first click only. And once it is clicking, when we need to break the loop also. I just I want to break the loop after clicking for our registration. I don't want to search uh, remaining loops. Once it is validated and it is clicked that particular registration, now it is clicked the registration, then it will the loop also will break. See, after registration, it is not printing for anything. Okay, this is a way we can able to handle for our uh, loop uh, links in our private. Okay, 
I hope you understand this one. Please like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.